You guys want to be the best? This is why, this is why this training works. Every single one of you right now, I can close you as long as I do one thing. Till I collapse, I've been moving too fast. Got my foot up on the gas, full throttle till I crash. I'm back with the vengeance. All right, guys, let's have a seat. Let's start training. This stage is no different than you being in an office or a classroom or closing a deal or being out in the, in the field. This, this right here lets me know what you know. Does that make sense? What's your name? Chip. Uh, what's your date of birth? 411.77. Okay, you can tell me. What's your mom's name? Sue. What's your kid's name? Addie. What's your wife's name? Amanda. That's how sales should be. It should flow just like that. You should know your business so great. So when I see people go, uh, mm, uh, I'm like, dude, you don't know your job. You've never been trained properly. You should know the top five, 10 objections you got in your company. You should be fluently flowing your words like water when somebody says no. You should be giving them five or 10 reasons why they should say yes right now. But first I wanna tell you how. So in my last event, it was a master closer seminar, I went over some slides and it helped people make a lot of money. So what I wanna do is I wanna cover that in this first, really next 30, 40 minutes. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, so if some of you were here, cool, you got it. But this is the key to being deadly at sales. By the way, Ur Nightingale, Right, like the guys that were together, you know, 20 years ago, 50 years ago, 70 years ago, there may be new strategies, new ways to speak, new ways to stand out and be different, but it's always been the same. Does that make sense? People that were successful and always made a lot of money, they, they had a process that got them there. Okay, you guys may listen to me, and I, you may, I may sound slick mouth when I start closing here in a little bit, dude. I got a strategy to every way that I work, and that's what I want to give you guys right now. So, grab something to write with. You see that, that book you have in front of you. That book should be full when you leave. If you leave here today, what's written will be retained. If you leave here today and you don't write anything down, you weren't even present while you were here today. And by the way, would you agree most people are planning for tomorrow? They're planning for their future. They want a big future. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Or most people are stuck in their past and they can't seem to get out of it. Well, who the f is living present? Nobody. Nobody's living present. If you want a better future, you have to be present. Your future can't be different if you just keep thinking about your future. I want you to think about today. Today will be the day that changes all your life. All your life. So the day you're born, the day you die, the day your life changes forever. This is what sales is. This is actually what we're doing. We're helping someone help themselves. Does that make sense? Okay, so if somebody's like, yeah, I don't know, I feel like you're pressuring me. Hey, listen to me, all I wanna do is help you help yourself. Obviously, you wouldn't have requested some information if there wasn't something you wanted to change. Would you agree, yes or no? Yes. Okay, cool, well, I appreciate that. Look, I'm not selling anything, and I don't want you to buy anything that doesn't help you help yourself. That's it. Do you guys understand how you can turn this back around? Do you guys wanna take the client's gun and literally just empty the bullets right out of it? Yep. Your job is to help people help themselves. That's all your job is. Why do you sell your product? Well, I want you to write down right now, why do you sell your product? Is it because it's a level 10 earning opportunity and that's why you sell it? Is it because the money's so good and I'm okay with that? Or is it because, or could it be that and also because you believe in it? I wanna ask you a question. As I'm going through all this stuff, I need you to write this down. What do I sell? Okay, and do, why do people request information on what I sell? Or why do I reach out to people about what I sell? Is it because it's good? Is it good, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Well, do you believe it's good? Yes. Yes. Well, if you believe the good, then you're helping people just help themselves. Does that make sense? Yes. Most important thing that you'll ever understand in your life is that in sales, you are not even selling anything. You're physically helping people help themselves. Now, I'm going to get into the sell part as we continue to go through this. All right, this next one, what does that say? How do I get someone to make a decision? How do you get someone to make a decision? How do you do it? Keep the client's goals at the center of your decision. Listen, are people, are you wanting people to make a decision? Yes or no? Yes. If somebody doesn't make a decision, they can't make a decision because they forgot about their goals. Whose fault is that? Ours. Yours. It's not their fault. Who's the person that should be asking great questions to get great answers, to ask them what their dominant, hey, by the way, I don't say, Mr. Customer, what's your dominant buying motive? What's the number one reason why you would say yes today? No, you ask great questions like, Hey, obviously you requested some information because you were struggling with something. You didn't want to stay the same. Something was bothering you, right? Like what, like, what was it? Take me to that place. By the way, when you reached out and requested information, what was going on? What did you see? 
What were you feeling? Because at the end of the day, I want to put myself in my client's shoes. Can I give you guys a trick? Every single one of you right now, I can close you as long as I do one thing. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. There's me here and I know what I know. And then there's you here, okay, that you feel a certain way and you're wanting something or I'm telling you you should get something and I'm understanding how you're feeling. Does that make sense? Yeah. Can you guys do what I'm going to tell you to do? There's me and as I'm talking to them, I'm like, how did that feel when that happened? You know, hey, if I'm selling a gym membership, right? You know, like when you were down 30 pounds, right? How did it feel? That confidence was through the roof. Now you're up 30 pounds right now. Now we're having a conversation about fixing this. Look, maybe we do something today, right? Maybe we don't. Maybe you need to gain 30 more pounds. I'm just, I'm being honest with you. Maybe you gain 30 more pounds and then come back. And then we can have a conversation, but now we're 60 pounds in the hole. You know the secret in closing everyone, everyone and being somebody that is a complete legend that no one has ever seen before in their life, which is almost, it's, it's unduplicatable. You can't duplicate me. You know why? I'm going to tell you a secret. You ready? Because I moved. I hated who I used to be. So I'm so excited and moved that now I get to help people, that now I get to create impact, that now I get to help people make decisions that normally they'd be frustrated with. Now I can make it easy regardless of money because I understand what they're going through and I understand the value that I'm gonna bring them and I must let them understand that they're worth it and these problems can be fixed and now's the time to do it. We only got so much time. I must be that person who's moved, who understands what my product does for other people. You sit and stare in the eyes of people every day that pitch you and, they, and they're just dead. They know their information, they know they need to make a sell and you don't wanna do shit with them because your souls don't connect. Listen to me, you know how sometimes you're talking to your wife and she knows you're not listening? I feel like that's how customers feel like when they talk to salespeople. They feel like that, they feel like that you're just waiting for them to finish their sentence so you can just say what you wanted to say and you're not even listening. Okay, you guys wanna be the best? This is why this, is why this training works. Because I'm telling you how I operate and how we built a nine-figure business. I take clients every day that reach out. I literally talk to someone, Jack, what's going on? 30 second conversation, wife, kids, family. You know what I'm saying? Where do you live? Who lives with you? What's important to you? How were you raised? Look, I'm gonna ask some questions because immediately I wanna take ownership of their life. I'm not telling you to ask that question. I'm trying to explain to you what I do because I wanna understand what they're going through. I wanna understand where they're at. I wanna know what frustrates them. I wanna feel the same pain that they feel so that I'm not fake and I'm not a fraud. I will execute this deal. And if my product can help them, they'll know it and they'll say yes, period. And how did I become the greatest closer? Very simply, as I'm asking questions over here and I'm a good person, I wanna help people, I'm over here putting myself in their shoes. You must put yourself in people's shoes. Now, am I gonna listen to bullshit? Am I gonna let someone talk negative? Am I gonna let someone be weak? No. No, I'm gonna make sure I raise the standard and hold the conversation. But I need to know where they're at because if I can feel the pain they're going through, I can fix it. But I need to understand it because so many of you guys in here, the reason why you can't get someone to say yes is because you don't even know how they feel. Somebody just taught you some word tracks in some industry and you're using them and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. In order to be a sniper and close everybody, you must become and feel everything that, that they are so that you know how to, how to fix that. What would you, if you had those problems, what would want to be done to you? I'm asking questions, they're telling me some answers, and you're identifying with how they feel, what their outlook on the world looks like. Is anybody being kind or nice to them? Are they struggling? Are they hurting? Are they sick and tired of it? You know, where are they at? And then what you do is that you physically think for two seconds, what would I want done if that was me and I swapped lives with them? And then I come back over here and that's my solution. Does that make sense? Isn't that common sense? We work in a world full of people that don't care. That's the problem. We work in a world full of people that literally, most of you in here, you're not having a record year. You had one one year in your life, but you're not having one this year. You know why? Because you're running with the wrong people.
because you're listening to the wrong people, because you're operating around the wrong things, because your head is physically a trash can. Trash in, trash out. Good in, good out. I'm getting you guys good. If you had this every day, this is what you would become. And then you would slaughter the entire market. So our goal is to keep their goals at the center of the decision, which means when I ask them to make a decision, I'm gonna say, Ryan, based off all the information you gave me, this is pretty simple. We gotta solve this, 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 and this. And I'm gonna make sure that right before I ask, that I make sure that I can increase that pain right in front of his face, and then take it away. And say, everything's about from today forward. Welcome to your new life. All that's gone. That's your goal, okay. So in your industry, when I role play with you today, some of you, you're so small minded that you're like, well, I don't understand. That doesn't work in my job. This is your life. This isn't a job. This is your life. Your life is to become a sales expert. Your, your, your job is to become a closing expert. Your job is to understand how all people work. Some of you in here, when I talk about other industries today, I'll lose you because you don't want to listen to that. You want to listen to what you want to listen to. Can I explain this to you? People are fucking people. They're people. Do you guys want to only sell people that's like you? Okay, if I was a fitness guy, I'm giving you an example, and I was once 450 pounds, and then now I'm 300 pounds. I lost 150 pounds. When I talk to a skinny guy that wants to gain muscle, or I talk to a mom or someone else, I don't know how to talk to those people because I'm always like, I need to find the big guy that wants to lose 150 pounds. I can only close people that had a life transformation like I had. If you guys will listen, you'll understand how to give everybody a life transformation and a new life or help them with your product or help anybody with any product. And you'll understand that really what you guys all do is really all the same. Maybe different products, but it's all the same. But you're so small minded, you're like, that doesn't have anything to do with me. You just stopped learning, that's where you end, and that's the reason why you can't grow. Do you wanna study people in your space or study people outside of your space and bring new language into your space? Come on, man. Who do, who do you think the markets is, is, gonna, is gonna reward right now? People who are the same, unique, rare, different, people that stand out, people that can make connections. By the way, if I can put myself in your shoes, can I make a connection with you? Guys, listen to me. The rules have changed. What worked three years ago doesn't work today. A lot of you are doing what you did three years ago. You're giving it your hardest, you're grinding, but the rules changed and no one told you. So you're doing something that doesn't work and you're just doing the same as everyone else. I wanna tell you this, I walk into an airport, okay? And we're going through the terminal and there is a line literally like 50, like 500 yards. You know when you see these lines, you're like, oh shit. You're like, dude, this is gonna take forever. And I look over and up the elevators, there's another gate and there's no line. It's like everybody just keeps stacking on this idiot line. <laughs> like, and there was a couple of you in it. Yeah, no, no, and I almost, Later, listen, I, see you in it. I almost got in it. Because people, they just attach to where they see everybody going. Can I explain to you guys, please? Four lane highway, 99%. Off road, over here. You, you must look to go the off road path. I'm always looking what everybody's doing and I'm wanting to do something different. I don't want to be like anybody else. You guys being like anyone else is not going to allow you to be a psycho competitor. Okay, so right here, how, what does a master communicator do? You've heard me say this, but most of you can't do it. And today on stage, I'm going to help you. Number one, a master communicator is somebody that makes it easy to say yes to. Now, when you're speaking and talking to somebody, let me explain this to you. Your job is everything that you say, it attracts them to the answer yes. Okay, write that down. Everything that I say, it attracts them to only give yes. Does everybody understand how that works? Yeah. Everything you say, the answer is yes. yes. There are no no's. Right, so it's your job to make it easy to say yes. You're framing, 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 framing. Only yes. Never say anything out of your mouth that leads to a no, unless you want the no, okay? But yeses, they work, they build people and they, and they repetition, it makes them easier to say yes when you ask for the decision. 
And then you gotta make it hard to say no. Listen, don't people naturally wanna find bias in something that something's not good for them and they wanna find why it wouldn't work? Because naturally, aren't people more negative than they are positive? So when you're saying something, they wanna, they wanna find something to say no. Your job is to get into a flow state and to use your language in words where they can't say no. Don't even give them an opportunity. Make sure the word no can't come out unless you want it. Make sure, slow down, do your job very slow, be a sniper, be a sniper. Snipers fire one shot. Machine gun sprayers throw bullets everywhere and they barely hit targets. One shot, that's all we need, okay. Make it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and this is the most important thing ever. Make it the client's idea every single time. How can you make it the client's idea? Yeah, yeah, ask questions, but how can you make it their idea? Do you think people want to hear the information from you and always just believe you, yes or no? no. That is why we paint pictures, we tell stories, we sell ideas, and we sell situations. That's the reason why I say, hey, listen, I totally understand what you want and what research have shows, showed and what we've learned is that a lot of people that were just like you got these results. So what I'm doing is I'm taking and talking about other people and I'm actually not telling them. If I'm like, oh, based on the information you gave me, this is what my company can do for you. See, that's a direct sell. I'm gonna say, listen, based on the information you've given me, you're 44 years old, we do business with a lot of people that are between the ages of 30, 35 and 45 years old, and we've learned they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. They've gone through life, they're not 21 years old, they don't have 20 years of waste, and they're ready to change today. And that's why you reached out, right? So that's why that 35 to 45 age mark is what we've learned, because people that are in your age range are serious and ready to take action now because they don't wanna waste any more time. So what we've learned and research have showed is that people that take our training program that are 44 years old, like your age, they get results like this because it creates a new identity, a new mindset, a new way to live. We found that a lot of people are burned out when really they don't, people don't burn out. They just lose their purpose. They forgot where they started. And, and, and the world just beats you down and now it's time to rise. So these people, they level up and then they become top one percenters in their industry and then they dust everybody. And those are our biggest testimonies, 35 to 45, and you're 44 years old. So our product, it works for everybody, but it's especially in this age, which you're in, everybody has told us that it's life changing because they're not playing around anymore. You're always like selling an idea, selling a situation. You're not direct selling. So when I say make it hard to say no to, easy, make it easy to say yes to, Easy, and then making it the customer's idea. Have you ever done this before? Yeah. Have you ever told, you know, watch, have you ever told your team, if you're, who's a leader in here? Okay, you should all be leaders, but let's say so you're in charge of someone. Have you ever told someone that they needed to do something and then they just seem to look at you with like a weird look, or maybe your wife has told you forever you need to do something, but then somebody comes in one day and they say, hey, I'm just giving you an example, hey, you know, you need to do this, and you're like, oh my God, that's amazing. And then all of a sudden you go tell your wife and she's like, I've been telling you that for 12 years. Okay, listen, just so you're aware, do you guys like to be told what to do? No, you don't. And I don't like to be told what to do either, but I like someone to make it my idea. Your goal in the way that you use your words, whether it is at home, you gotta practice this everywhere. You got to make it people's idea. It has to be their idea. They have to wanna do it and they need to believe that they came up with it. They need to believe that inside they manifested this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Who can make this happen? A master communicator. Only a master communicator. You wanna be a closer? You communicate. Is everybody in this room a public speaker? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes, you all are a public speaker. For a living, you guys all speak. Every single person in this room, I've talked to a lot of you, you're not very good at speaking. You don't understand that you get paid to speak for a living. You may not enter a stage, you get paid for a living to speak. And honestly, if I pulled you up here and I told you, hey, but teach the room everything you know, you would learn you're not as good at speaking as you think you are. So what does that mean? That means your income is probably about 20% of what it could be if you could learn to speak better. Am I correct? Yes. This is a secret. You guys all speak for a living. I don't ever want to hear any bullshit.
come out of your mouth again. I want you to talk and speak like you're a professional speaker, like you get paid to speak for a living, and 24-7 there is a camera following you around, listening to everything that comes out of your mouth. I want everything that you say to anybody, right, I want it to change their life. Whether it's you walking in the grocery store and saying hi to somebody and just telling them that they look amazing today, hey, I don't need anything from you. You look amazing. Hope you have a blessed day. Always bring value to other people. Understand this mouthpiece will be the one thing that will get you everything you're after. And if you change your identity and you change all these things and you learn how to sell, but you don't learn how to speak, you're still out. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. It's about skill stacking. Everybody write this down, 100 micro skills. Today, my goal is for you to learn 100 micro skills, uh, to learn 100 different ways to add something to skill stack, to stack skills in your current life, okay? You sell with your heart, not your mouth. The minute somebody, somebody hears or feels or thinks that your heart's not involved, they're out. Listen, remember what I said, okay? We prayed in the beginning. This isn't about religion for a minute. This is about we are a body. All of you have a body, but all of you have a soul. And this soul is going to live on forever. And this soul can understand when you're around another soul that truly cares. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. I tell people this saying, I say the eyes are the window to the soul. I can look in someone's eyes and I can tell what's going on in their life. I can look into someone's eyes and I can see your heart. I can listen to the way that you talk to me and I can tell whether you really care about me or whether you really don't. Now in the beginning, sometimes we've got to crack jokes, have fun, meet people, pull the wall down. You guys feel me? Build rapport, right? My heart's on the sleeve, but they can't feel it. But in due time, 10 minutes in, people can start to understand that you lean into your heart and that you're not only talented and good because a lot of people wonder if you're just really skilled and great and they're being put together, which leads them into avoidance, which means they're afraid to make a mistake because you're too good. Do you guys hear me? For everyone in this room that learns everything I've ever taught, if you don't put your heart into it, you still won't make it. The reason why is because at the end of this, I'm gonna talk about closing. And there's a close called the avoidance close in which people have no objection and they just say, we appreciate it. We're going to get back with you. And I'll get back with you is not overcoming an objection. They don't feel in their gut that you're the person that they should do it with or this isn't the right time. And you know who fucked that up? You did. Why? Because you didn't lean into your heart. Now listen, this is where you have to care. Everybody understand this. If you want to get rich... If you want to get rich, you got to make relationships. Relationships are the greatest currency. Everybody you run into from now on, every person that you run into this event, every person that you meet, may you do such a good job that they can never forget you. Now, I want to tell you guys something. A lot of you don't want to do this. You know why? Because it's exhausting. And it's hard. It's also hard losing. It's also hard meeting people and realizing you were just another person. I love meeting people and they say, I don't know what it's about you, but you're different. I love that because I want to be different. That, that was my goal the whole time. I planned getting up today and not being the same as everyone else. I planned today that everybody that I walked by made sure I gave them a hug, a high five, a pound, and let them know that, that they're important to me. I planned that. That was by design because that's how I live. And once you guys start living this way, you will start to slowly dust everybody. And... Part of being a psycho competitor is I'm insulated. You can't f with me. I will smoke your ass because even if you copy everything that I do or everything that I, that I believe, you're not who I am. And so who you guys become is literally the most important thing in this world. So when I say sell with your heart, you have to care to sell with your heart. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to tell you something real quick. My wife, she's going to talk to you guys later. She checked my ass a long time ago. I came in the house, I was bitching and complaining, you know, I had a bad day at work. And she goes, dude, you sound like you don't care, man. And I said, yeah, well, I, she goes, dude, you, you sound like it's all about money. And I'm like, well, no, but, and she goes, dude, listen to me, go to work tomorrow. Give a shit 10 times more than you gave a shit today 
and watch the outcome. And by the way, don't complain in this house because it makes it very hard for me to support a complainer. And I'm like, hey, she's right. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I'm being a little bitch. And a lot of you in here are little bitches. You really are. And you and your wife. Like, you're both little bitches. You guys have both gotten used to nagging each other and being whiners and complainers that you guys live in a shit, a shit house. You don't have to. You can say, hey, we don't want to operate this way. We don't want to talk this way. We don't believe this way. Let's change. And so the next day I went into work and I remember giving my heart all day long. I made more money than I ever made. It was easier than it had ever been. I couldn't believe, man, if I just changed the way I cared about people, I could make more money. That is the secret. From that day forward, I decided no longer, everybody write this down. Everybody's the same, but people deliver information differently. I started delivering information differently to my clients and to my team and to my wife, to myself and my family because I wore my fucking heart on my sleeve. I had it right there with me. So even when the money was more than they wanted to pay, they still did it. Even when it was more than they wanted, hey, it's always going to cost more than you want to pay. Am I right? Do dreams come with the pay? Do, do dreams uh, come with a price? Yeah. And if you don't pay the price, you don't got you, you don't get the dream. This will make you untouchable. This is the most secret thing ever: is to make sure you sell with your heart. And by the way, I know this for a fact because I've sold cold-hearted and have been, you know, like disciplined, grinding, working hard, but cold-hearted, and I went broke. And then I've been loving, wore my heart on my sleeve. And people say, don't wear your heart on your sleeve because people will take advantage of you. No. If you take advantage of me, I will no longer be with you, but I'm going to continue to roll. Listen, just because you ran into some shitty people in life, if that's going to make you stop trying, you're a fool. Like your goal is to completely give all you got all the days of your life and understand that you are going to get taken advantage of. You're going to get played. People are going to rip you off. People are going to do these things. And it's just part of the journey of going to a big life. You guys get it? Okay, so now we're not going to bitch about it anymore. Now we're not going to whine about it anymore. Now we're not going to change who we are because of another bad person. Okay, some of you, my wife was saying this this morning. She's like, you know, this guy had this ex-girlfriend and she was a piece of shit. Well, now he's got this new wife and she's amazing, but he treats her shitty. Dude, she needs to fucking leave. Why should she put up with that shit because of his ex? And he's got some old shit. That's like my mom left when I was two. She's an alcoholic. Imagine me being an alcoholic piece of shit to my kids or beating their asses all the time and being a bad dad because I say, well, that's the way my dad was. It's like, dude, you're so stupid, man. Every one of you in this room, you're in charge of you. You're in charge of your life. You can create whatever you want. I say, if you can't find it, build it. Build it. Build you. Listen, and as you're talking to us today, you don't have to be me, but you do need to take things that we've done that have got us to where we want to go, and we want you to be unique and be you. But I will tell you, try to do any of this without caring, having relationships, and playing with your heart. And by the way, you must do it when there's no transaction. You must do it when there's no money. What you do when there's no money involved, start stacking these little wins that you're good at this. Can you get people to move when you come in contact with them? If you can, then you can do it when you're in the clothes. But don't, if you can't do it when you're in the clothes, it's because you're not practicing it out here. So you guys need to practice on everybody you run into from now on. Everybody you run into, make sure that when you leave them, it's infectious and they don't want to leave you. And by the way, they want to become best friends with you. All people are like, dude, I need you in my life. And I just met you. That's it. Now you know you got it. But this is the key right here. This is what will make you the most dangerous person in the world. All right. Your job is to kill all their limiting beliefs before the close. Everybody understand this. Anybody and everybody in this room, as you're setting someone up, you got to make sure that you kill all limiting beliefs before you ask for the money. Wouldn't it be, hey, by the way, let me tell you what weak salesmen do. Weak salespeople avoid talking about things they know that clients may bring up later to hope they'll forget about it. They ain't going to forget about it, dog. And by the way, can I tell you something? When money's on the table and the offer's on the table or the monthly payment or the term or the contract, when they see that and they have that problem, now we got two big problems. Now, by the way, which one do we attack? Well, shit, you don't know. But there's money on the table now. Your goal, everybody write this down, your goal is to sweep out all the problems, overcome all the problems, kill all the low self-limiting beliefs, before you present an offer. That way when the offer's on the table, you know that all we have to handle is the money. 
Does that make sense? Okay, you guys got me? But you, a lot of you guys know this right now. You're like, yeah, dude, if somebody's like, you know, we're not going to buy today, right? right? Like, hey, I wouldn't do anything either that didn't benefit me. You know, I wouldn't go and exchange out of this product and buy this one if it didn't better my life. So every day, it's common sense that people shouldn't make decisions that don't increase the value of their life or make their life easier. Am I correct? But when one does, what do we do? We move forward. Am I correct? Great. So my goal today in the presentation is to show you guys that of course you don't, and I know you didn't plan on anything, but nobody ever plans on getting something great for their family. It just happens. And when it does, we move on it. And if it doesn't work, then we don't do it. Am I right? Cool. So my goal today is to show you something that's amazing for your family. That's a good proposal. And that takes you guys from where you're at to where you want to go. And if that happened, it sounds like that's what you were looking for, which is why we got together today. See, I'm framing you that, yes, we are going to do something, but it must make sense. Why? Because I'm not going to bring that up during the close. And I framed you, so during the close, if you're like, well, we're not going to do something, well, like we discussed earlier, if it doesn't solve your problems, we wouldn't do it. But if it solves problems, I mean, you wouldn't even have requested some information on this and we wouldn't have got together. What I've learned is that a lot of people think that it's more complicated to move forward, so they go back and they sit in their own li on their old life. That's why I'm involved. I'm a professional. I'm a pro in a world full of amateurs. I make stuff like this easy. I'm going to take all the pressure off the deal. Let's go through the pros and cons. What you're doing now and what it looks like when you move forward. And then let's just roll through them. And in the end, let's look at it and let's say, hey, if I didn't have this life or that one, and I didn't have any life, which one would I want to go be in? That one or that one? Is that cool? Yeah. And your goal is to make this one seem ultra attractive. So they'd be like, well, I guess we need to do that one. Good. Let's roll. And then you pull them in. You guys got me? Never get attached to the money, okay? Never get attached to the money. You guys need to understand this. Most of the time, the salesperson is more attached to the money than the client is. Most of the time, the salesperson believes that the client won't take it, and the client doesn't believe that. But because you see it, and you believe it, I can see it in your face, and now I own it. Matter of fact, you made it easy for me to tell you no and reject you because you actually owned it yourself. And I can see it, or I can hear it in your voice, whether I'm on the phone or in person. Does that make sense? You must believe that people will pay anything to solve a problem. You must believe that. Do people go through the mall and blow money all the time? Yeah. Why? Because it's exciting to spend money. Am I right? Yeah. What does it do? It gives you an endorphin rush to spend money. Am I correct? Yeah. Doesn't it give you an endorphin rush to spend money when you're solving a problem? Okay. That's why you guys have to get really good. Can you guys become such good closers, so good at putting yourself in their shoes, so great at asking questions so you can find all of their goals, and then when you go to present the offer, kill all the limiting beliefs, keep all their goals at the center of the decision, and literally make it where it's an endorphin rush to say yes to you because you did such a good job presenting it? That's it. The second the money goes on the table, it should literally take less than one minute to close this deal. I need you to understand something. Can you make them want it and say, all right, Andy, how does this work? Andy, how, how soon can we get started? Andy, how quick can we get this installed? Money hasn't even come up and they're already closing themselves. All right, how can we do this? Does that make sense? That's when you know you've done a good job. This last 10% of the time, when that comes out, you must be very good. You must be quick. You must get close to them. Everybody watch this. I said this right here. First 90% of the time, we're building value, making sure they fall in love with you, doing everything right, finding out their goals, figuring out who's all involved. Could there be anyone else that needs to be a part of this decision? You must find it all out and do it while, while rolling under the radar and not making it like, like I say things like roughly, ballpark, you know, you know, like things like that. Like I'm not giving direct, like I'm not trying to get direct information. I'm just trying to get people to talk. Okay? Then when they tell me all this and I go to the close, in the close, I'm gonna paint pictures. Am I painting pictures right now? I'm selling ideas. The idea of going with the wrong person is a nightmare. I'm selling an idea and I'm selling situations. These are situations that people have found themselves. I'm sure you found yourself in a situation like this before. I'm sure if you could just snap your fingers, the ideal situation would look like this. Do you guys get me? Yes. Is there any product knowledge in any of this? No. That? That was how, at 20 years old, I made 500 grand a year selling cars and how I worked my way up to 800 grand as a car salesman. And no one else could figure out how I did it. My managers would come in today and they would say, all right, guys, we're going to learn product knowledge. How many horsepower on the Nissan Maxima? I'm like, fuck this. I don't give a shit. It doesn't matter. It's super fast. 
They're like, yeah, but what's the fuel tank gallon? It doesn't matter. It's got a backup tank. This thing runs forever. We're just going to drive it across the desert. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. It's the way it feels when you're driving it. It's smooth. It's sexy. People like it. I'm selling this, the sizzle on the steak. They're selling the steak. They're making fucking 50 grand. I'm making 800 grand. They're selling fucking steaks. Guys, we, we are in the internet era. You guys got me? We're in the internet era. People can buy on a website. They don't need you. You know what people want? Connection. It's connection. They want relationships. And some of you in here, you won't get it. And, and here's what I'll tell you. Everybody write this down. Mature the fuck up. Let's go. You must mature in this room today. The reason why you don't have the relationship you want with your wife is because you're immature. You're an immature little baby. The reason why your wife doesn't have one is because she's immature. Your business is immature. Your leadership skills are immature. Your communication is immature. We all need to mature. And by the way, when we grow up, we get the life we want. Listen, that's why you can't be around people that play as little kids. That's why you gotta be around people that are psycho. That's why you gotta be around people that literally have so many rules and processes in place and disciplines and responsibilities. I mean, you talked about being responsible last night. Being responsible. Do like, this is it. And by the way, it sounds like a lot of work. You know what a lot of work is? Doing what you're doing now and not getting the life or the results you want. That's a fucking lot of work, man. Like, that's the key, guys. Today in here, it's about altering your identity. It's about changing yourself. It's about understanding that, dude, this isn't a seminar event. This is like, dude, we're just telling you how to live. And you can decide to do it or not do it. And sales is easy. People are sick of frauds. People are sick of people who don't know what they're doing. You know why people hate sales people? Because most of them suck. Honestly, like dude, if, if, if hair, people that gave haircuts sucked and one out of 50 were good, you'd be afraid to get a fucking haircut. Am I right? That's what people are doing. They're going into places every day getting fucked up haircuts. And then when you get a good one, you're like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, you're cutting my hair until I die. Right? And that's what I want you to do. I want you to be the people that people choose to do business with until they die. I want you to be so good at what you do, people say, can I just buy everything off you for the rest of my life? That's what I want. And only you can make this happen. This is the next year. So you must learn to do this. And we're going to talk about how to do this on stage today. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it, uh, the process now. This is how this works. All right. So this part right here, the difference between sales and closing is simple. Just so we can get everybody to understand this. You have this line. There's sales, and I think closing starts at two things. Closing starts at your first no, okay? And then closing starts when the money hits the table. People say you're closing when you're first meeting somebody. You're closing them on you. But really, look, you guys just need to be sold and closed on yourself, and they'll be closed and sold on you. Real closing, which requires skill to me, starts when somebody says no. Yeah, so listen, we're, we're gonna go take this vehicle for a test drive, or here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this strategy set up, and this house, yeah, I'm not really interested. Okay, now it's time to close. Is money on the table yet? Nope, that's early on. It's time to go into closing. I need to make sure that they see what I see. Everybody write this down. Closing is altering somebody's perspective. Closing is literally convincing somebody to pull their eyes out of their head and put your eyes in their head. It is literally allowing them to see what you see. Isn't it important to make people see what you see? Have you ever seen something and you're like, man, this is good for these people. Why aren't they doing it? You know why they're not doing it? Because you couldn't get them to see it. You can get mad at them. You can say they're customers. They just don't see it. You know why they don't see it? Because you can't get them to see it. Your number one goal in closing is to change someone's perspective. Your goal is to literally be like, yeah, look through these lens. And then they go, oh, oh I see it now, okay. All right, this does make sense. And it could be money justification. Maybe we're justifying how the money really works. Maybe it's a new perspective. Like, what do you see, right? Would you agree that most people have a negative mindset? Okay. So going into something, you should automatically know that you must connect with them. People must look up to you. All right, you want to become the most dangerous salesperson that's ever lived on planet Earth? You must become their mentor, 
without telling them that you're their mentor during the sale. Your job, the way you speak, the way you talk, the way you articulate your words, the way you work, it allows them to admire you. It allows them, even though they don't know you, to look up to you and be like, man, this guy's got it together. I like this. What are they doing? They're choosing to do what? Give you their attention, give you their ears, give you their heart. Now, are you worth it? Do you deserve it? Do you got good intentions? Good, then you're doing your job. If you got bad intentions, that's not who I'm training. I'm training people with good intentions so that you can get their heart, so you can get their eyes, so you can get them to understand. Look, let me explain this to you. Is inflation real? Yes. Is everything costing more money? Yes. So really the number one savior in this world to give people like less headaches and to make it easy for people to get what they want in a world that's costing more money is to train salespeople. Salespeople, all their job is to do is to find the pros. Listen, okay, we're gonna go to this next slide. This right here, this is, it says help the customer with what they want and what they don't want. You guys get it? If I'm gonna fight with somebody, I need to know what we're actually fighting about and I know what they want and what they don't want. Can I ask you a question? If somebody's got a, a vehicle and it's got problems, do they want problems? No. What do they want? Solution. A vehicle with no problems. Like it's very simple, it's just common sense. But people don't think about this because people try to force it, okay? You know, Drew, you, you come in, you're like, oh, here I go, I'm gonna make some sales today. Listen, you're gonna help people today and then you're gonna get paid like a salesperson. That's all you're gonna do. What I need you to understand, the difference between rich people and poor people are sales, which are commission pay plans, money made, money paid, and salaries. Do you understand people with salaries could get paid like salespeople, but they are afraid of sales. And that means they really don't wanna help anybody. So it means they really don't wanna be a service to anybody at all. And they think that they're the ones that are like being good people and we're the bad ones. When really at the end of the day, people hate that no one's helping them be able to make decisions. That's why there's this thing called commission. Commission is, a, is you helping someone see what the value is in doing this and how all the struggles, staying the same, not getting these benefits, all this stuff, until they come over here, they, don't, they can't get any of that. So you must be really good at it. So what I always talk about is I'm like, look, hey, all we're gonna do today is that number one, I'm gonna help you help yourself. Number two, I'm gonna keep your goals at the center of the decision, which means today, whether we say yes or no, we're just gonna look at the goals and if they make sense and it aligns, let's do it. And if it doesn't, I don't, I don't wanna sell you anything anyways. Does that make sense? Okay, and then lastly, I just wanna talk about what you want. Like, what do you want? And then also I wanna talk about what you don't want. Let's just write it down, what you want, what you don't want. And if what you want, I can give you, and it replaces what you don't want, well, that's the reason why we're meeting, am I right? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> this is, guys, I mean, can you be mad at me? Am I making it your idea? Yeah. You're like, well, man, I really want to get what I want, and I, don't want, I want to stay away from what I don't want, and I do want to keep my goals at the center of the decision, and I do want somebody to help me get what I'm actually trying to get. It's like, dude, you're literally disarming them. Can I explain this to you? Write this down. The greatest salespeople in the world can disarm anybody when they meet them. Disarm. I, Im I imagine walking up to someone every time I go to meet them, which AKA it's called mastering a stranger. Anytime you go to master a stranger, I envision them having a machine gun, a freaking, you know, a rocket launcher. Man, they're ready to go to war, dude. They've had a hundred bad haircuts. Okay. And then I'm going to meet them. I must show them that I'm different. Does that make sense? So this is you guys right here. I, I said, use frameworks to help the customer help themselves. Help the customer think about what they want and what they don't want. Help them think through the pros and the cons of the decision. <clears throat> if you ever get the opportunity on the phone or in person, I will say this if I'm with you on the phone. Jake, do me a favor, grab a place or, or find a place that you can sit down where nobody's gonna bother you. I wanna walk you through this because I'm sure you're gonna have some questions and I wanna make sure you understand it before we move forward and fix all these problems you have. All right, cool, write this down, 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 write this down. I'm making him write everything down. So at the end, I'll say, Jake, do me a favor. Before we make this final decision and get everything started, look back at your piece of paper. Take your eyes and scan. You'll, you'll remind yourself, what did I do? In the last 30 seconds, remember this, if I talk to you for 10 minutes, in the last 30 seconds, they probably forget everything the first nine and a half minutes. But in the last 30 seconds, my goal is to wrap them quickly. 
Jake, based on all the information that we talked about today, look back at that piece of paper. I'm not there with you in person, okay? Or else I would go through this with you, but I'm with you on the phone. Look at everything you wrote down. Look at everything I told you to write down. The, that's what you want. And then that's replacing what you don't want. That's fixing your problem. It's keeping all your goals to, to the surface. Let's move forward. That allows them to close themselves quickly by looking at everything. Now, let's go face to face. If I'm sitting with you face to face, I'm knee to knee. I call it like I can put my arm around you. I will never present numbers to anyone if I can't put my arm around you. You feel me? Face to face, you must tell them. Most of my clients, they want to interrupt me and ask some questions. I'm totally okay with it. I'd like to come around that side of the desk if it's okay. So when I explain it, if you have any questions, you could ask me. Is that okay? You f***ing shake your head like this. And they go, yeah, that's fine. And then you go, Vroom. and now you're here. Now, by the way, you don't have to put your arm around them, but I could. Does that make sense? Then I close them. All right, we're going to go quickly. The, the goal is to find the key problems. This is the number one goal. The client, because you got to ask great questions, ask great questions that they can help you create a solution for them in the close. This is what master closers do. It's called framing. By the way, everything you do in your life is called framing. Every word that you say out of your mouth has to be taking people in the direction you want them to go. Does that make sense? Everybody understand this. Most salespeople just run their mouth. They just blah, 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 blah. It's like, dude, you're, you're not even saying anything that's taking me in the direction you want me to go. Like if you're wanting me to go here, you're doing a really bad job, you're wasting 70% of your energy, you're wasting 70% of your words, you're not a pro. This is a bad haircut, okay? So if you can get the customer to admit openly that, um, that, or speak about a problem, you're 99% more likely to get them to close. Your goal is to get them to admit and openly speak, okay? What does that mean? That means you're a chiropractor, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So currently right now, you have a lot of neck pains. I bet when you go to work, it's awkward. You're probably overtaking ibuprofen and you wish someone could just fix the problem. Am I correct? So the goal to be here today isn't to get a short term, make you feel better. And then in 72 hours, you're complaining to your wife. You look in the mirror and say, damn, why me? Why did that car wreck have to happen? Where our goal is to fix it permanently. Am I correct? Well, my goal with you today is to find a permanent solution. And if I can, I'm pretty sure you're willing to act on it as long as it can get done in a reasonable amount of time. Would you agree? Okay, so our goal is in this decision, I'm gonna talk about permanent solutions to fix things so you can be happy and healthy and no more complaining and you don't have to come back and forth for five years and literally be in the same boat. Would you rather choose being with me for the next 18 weeks as a chiropractor or choose the next 18 years of your life living with that problem? 18 weeks or 18 years? 18 weeks. Welcome to your permanent solution. Boom. You see what I'm saying? Okay. This is what I'm talking about. You must, you can't just be telling them what's wrong with them. What I learned in my early stages of sales is I was so good at selling and I got in their shoes and I knew what their problems were that I would tell them what their problems were and they never got to say it themselves. So in the close, I knew that what I was saying was correct and so did they, but they never said it. Yeah. And I was like, God, man, why aren't they closing? This is, this is facts. But it's because they never admitted it themselves. Your goal is to get someone to admit that they have a problem without it being no big deal. And that way you can say, based on what you just told me, this is something that we want to remove and we can do that. And this is how I'm going to do it. See, your goal is to get them to admit it. Do you guys feel me? Okay, everybody write this down. You're one decision away of changing your life forever. You must always remember this. Number one, it's true for you. And it's also true for other people. Lady comes in one day, transmission slipping. Oh, selling cars, transmission's 10 grand. Okay, I'm just giving you an example of lots of different ways, okay? Um, she says, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to put my, down my savings that I have to fix this. I don't want my payment to go up. She's telling me all these things. And I said, ma'am, you're one decision away from changing your life forever. I literally sat in the same, same office, same seat with a woman similar to you about two weeks ago. She drove out of here. She said the same thing you said. And within a week, her transmission went out. Now she had to spend 10000 on her car. Okay, she spent the money and that 10,000 was spent plus her car didn't increase in value because because you put a new transmission and it doesn't make it worth more money. Now she was double in the hole. 
it's not a matter of if your transmission is going to go out. It's when and when it does. The question is who's going to pay for it. Do you want to leave it with us today? And we'll risk transfer. We'll transfer all the risk over to us and we'll take it. And you can leave and that will never be a problem to you. Or would you like to leave out of here and then just see what happens? You're one decision away from changing your life forever. I think we should get your new car cleaned up. She's like, all right, let's do the new one. She needed, she needed to know. Some of you, you're one decision away from changing your life forever. You're a chiropractor. Listen, I look at backs, necks, and x-rays all the time. People that have the same problem that you have, most of the time continue to injure more on top of current injury because they don't fix it. You're one decision away from changing your life. We're either today going to permanent, put in a permanent treatment and we're going to fix this. And then we know that all your problems are going to get solved and you're going to be happy because you know you're on the way to being healthy again. Or we won't do anything at all and you could accidentally leave here and you could re-injure it, which is what 99% of my clients do. Not only is it going to cost more money, but it's going to be longer. If it's frustrating to do this today, well, then that's going to be ultra frustrating to cost you more money and more time. You're one decision away from changing your life forever. Would you like to choose this decision or that one? Because one of them will eventually be made. Now, let's do the shorter treatment. We'll take it today. Okay, cool. That's what I want to do. And as your doctor, I would never tell you to do anything that wasn't good for you. Your goal is to, to remember you're one decision away from changing your life. If you don't do it now, what does it look like tomorrow? If you're in here and you know, you're 30 pounds overweight, well, guess what? What's it going to look like tomorrow? If you guys do anything, one decision away from changing your life forever. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.